Welcome to the Gate of Harmonious Interest here at the entrance to Victoria's old Chinatown. It was built in 1981 to celebrate Chinatown's revival. The lions that guarded were a gift from Victoria's sister city of Suzhou, China. The first Chinese arrived in 1858. They called Victoria Daifao, the big port. Victoria had the biggest Chinatown north of San Francisco, bustling with shops and services. In the early years, Victoria was the starting point for thousands of Chinese who came to work in the salmon canneries, logging camps, coal mines, and other industries throughout the province. In the 1880s, they helped to build the national railway that joined British Columbia to the rest of Canada. Most Chinese coming to British Columbia in the 1800s were men who came on their own, hoping to earn money to take back to China to their wives and families. They called this returning home in silken robes. In reality, most endured tremendous hardship, including a racially based head tax or entry fee imposed by the Canadian government to discourage further Chinese immigration. It was enacted in the 1880s and remained in effect for many years. As Chinatown grew, the local Chinese community built this Tam Kong Temple and other places of traditional worship to serve both residents and people who were just passing through. Community associations called Tongs were founded based on family name or county of origin. While Victoria's Chinatown is no longer the largest in Canada, it's still the most historic and, we think, the most charming. It's also an important reminder of the huge contribution made to our society by Chinese immigrants all across British Columbia.